What is going on guys? Welcome back. Another month has passed us by and we are here with October 2023's Hunt Bought Elite subscription box. We've got some pretty cool stuff in here this month, so let's check it out. So if you guys have been following along on the uh, Hunt Vault's Facebook page or Instagram. You will know that this month we have something pretty exciting, or at least I'm excited about it. So, let's see here. First thing you're going to find when you open the box is going to be a card with some featured brands on the front, and on the back will be a list with each item, a brief description, and a price for each item. So we'll start at our cheapest item, work our way up to our most expensive item, and see if this box was worth our 150 bucks. All right, so first on our list is going to be Hunting Made Easy Wallet License Holder. This is gonna be it here. And it is just a little vinyl plastic, uh, little license holder, fold it in half, keep an ID or your paper license. Uh, I get a hard copy, put that in one side, but something cool to uh, hold your license in. And uh, you can see it's got hump vault there on the front. So pretty cool. It says, keep your hunting license safe in the HMA Hunter's License Holder. Features a built-in snap, which I don't think this is the same one, to secure and store your license for easy yet safe retrieval. So they've got our license holder listed for $1. All right, so next on our list is going to be Hunting Made Easy Wind Indicator. So this is going to be a little container of powder. Uh, basically, you just kind of flip your lid, squirt it, you know, shake it up. The dust goes in the air and you can tell the direction of the wind. So if you're a hunter, which if you're interested in this box, you're probably a hunter or aspire to be, wind is the number one thing that you need to look out for. So something like that in your pack is going to save you a lot of heartache from getting busted in the woods. Scent control is one of the most important aspects of deer hunting. Detect the most subtle wind currents with the HME wind indicator. The quiet, super fine, and odorless powder allows you to see the direction of the wind so you can stay downwind to hide your presence from the game. So they've got our wind indicator listed for $3, and that's going to put us at $4 so far. Next up, we've got Muddy Hand and Toe Warmer Variety Pack. That's a big pack of warmers Let's see it says hand warmers toe warmers and XL body warmers and there's two each so I do believe open this up. so you've got the hand warmers so it's two of the smaller packs and you got Two individual packs of toe warmers so uh, basically you put one on each boot or in each boot or on top of your sock or under your sock and then you've got two XL body warmers so I'm a big fan of those um, toe warmers and hand warmers I have not tried a body warmer yet but one of my biggest things is if my hands get cold that's one thing it sucks but if my feet get cold it's over. I might as well go home. I'm going to be uncomfortable and, uh, you know, I'm just not going to want to stay up in the tree. So muddy warmers are single use air activated heat packs that provide up to eight hours of continuous warmth for the hands and feet. The warmers fit easily inside your gloves, boots, or pocket for quick, long lasting heat. They must have during cooler hunting season. So I think there's a few different brands that make uh, these hand warmers and I've actually never seen the muddy ones. So I'm eager to find out how well they work. So um, definitely be throwing those in my pack. They've got our hand, toe and body warmer variety pack listed for $8 and that's going to put us at $12 so far. 
Next up, we've got Allen X Focus Shooting Rest. Okay. So, I guess that rolls over the window of your blind or, uh, you know, the edge of a stand. It says designed to provide stability and accuracy for your rifle. This gun rest bag ensures a steady aim and precise shot every time. The outer shell is robust and durable, ensuring it can withstand the rigors of outdoor use. It's filled with inert poly beads to provide the right amount of stability without being too heavy, making it easy to transport to and from your destination. So pretty simple little thing. It looks like it will go over your blind window or your edge of your stand um, you know if you've got a gun rest on your stand pop that bad boy up there put your rifle on it and steady your aim so it's really not that heavy a lot of these bags are heavy i've got a few of the caldwell bags and they're just you know just too heavy to lug around so this is only you know probably two pounds or less it says non-slip bottom for use on window or fence Stable shooting platform, window mount shooting bag. Pretty cool. They've got our Allen X Focus shooting rest listed for $20, and that's going to put us at $32 so far. So next up, we've got Siri Outdoors leather patch cap. So pretty good looking hat right there. Got the old elk antler on there Richardson 115 hat so I'm a stickler when it comes to hats for my big old head so pretty good hat represent legacy brand Siri outdoors with this classy custom hat featuring a six panel relaxed fit with the mesh back and snapback closure Designed with comfort in mind, this hat can be worn out in the field or around camp. So definitely be adding this to my rotation of dome piece covers. They've got our hat listed for $30 and that's gonna put us at $62 so far. All right, so we got two high dollar items this month and the first one is going to be Frog Togs All Sport Rain Suit. We're going to open this bad boy up. Super light. Even with the hangers. This is a bottomland suit. So I've had um, a Frog Togs rain suit before. And these things are loud by nature whenever you first get them. But there are things that you can do to make that a lot better. And one thing that I've found is, as odd as it sounds, is to wash them. I think this is an extra large. I guess I got to put it on, huh? It's kind of stiff when you first get it too, so... Feels kind of big, but um, I think this would be just fine because you know most of the time in, uh, during hunting season it's not, it's cool outside or cold, so you can slip this over your camo. It's got some Velcro closures at the bottom so you can cinch it up around your boot. Now I am weatherproof. Yeah. Of course, it's got my hat on backwards, so I can't put the hood on all the way, but. Yeah, I could sit in the rain in this all day long. So, let's see how tight it packs up. Another thing uh, about washing it is when you first get these, they have a little bit of a plasticky smell. 
So it's kind of beneficial to wash it and get some of that smell out because you're not going to want to go into the woods smelling like a plastic factory. That actually packs up pretty small. You can get some like uh, shot cord or something like that and wrap around it. And you can strap that to the outside of your pack, you know, if you know it's going to rain. Obviously, if there's 0% chance of rain, there's no use in carrying this, right? So, let's see what they say. Packable, portable, and durable. The all-sport rain suit is completely waterproof, made from two-ply fabric. The interior is fiber-based. The outer is film-based, offering you a dry, breathable fishing experience in rainy conditions. Features a full hood with draw cord barrel lock adjustment, snap down storm flap, full length front zipper, elasticized cuffs at the wrist, raglan sleeves for better movement. The pants feature a four panel cut with an elasticized and adjustable waist and large openings for putting over shoes and boots. So there's been a couple of times that I've been out in the woods thinking that I was going to beat the storm in or out of the woods and i'm going to tell you what when you get out there and you get soaking wet because you come unprepared it's not a good feeling so definitely a really good thing to have you know in your hunting box keep it in your truck or back at camp just in case you need it so they've got our frog togs rain suit listed for 80 dollars, and that's going to put us at 142 dollars so far this month so before we get to our featured item we do have a discount code in here uh, not going to show you guys the code because it's kind of cheating but it is for badlands and for hunt vault members to get the rise jacket rise pants and rise vest for a majorly discounted price the jackets regular 129.99 get it for 52 the pants 159.99 get it for 64 and the rise vest 109.99 get it for 44 so definitely got to check that out. All right. So we are at our featured item. And it is going to be Custom Tactica Fixed Blade Knife. Now, I'm a big knife guy. I got quite a few. Probably more than I should, actually. Um, almost to the point where it's probably a problem. But, you know, I'm not going to... I'm not going to settle for that being a problem. And I just ripped the box. This is the box here. Nice little fixed blade knife. Comes with a, uh, looks like a polymer sheath. Whew. That's nice. I like the color scheme there. That OD green, and it's got, um, you know, and a little, little orange accent there. Whew. Holy smokes. Hair popping sharp. Sheet that's pretty cool. It's got a lanyard loop here. It's got some spots for Molly attachment. Uh, two different spots there also has a belt clip and there is a spot for a lanyard right there feels pretty good in the hand it's nice and thin it's really thin it's really light full tang knife I really am a big fan of the black blade and it's pretty cool they got their logo on it it's one thing I've always liked about hunt vault doing their little collaborations and stuff all right, so we got D2 drop point fixed blade, high grip. We're going to go over this with the knife in hand. So we've got a D2 drop point fixed blade, high grip jimping on the top here. Uh, machined G10 handles. Got a lanyard hole 
full tang and jimping on the back side of the handle with uh, a lanyard hole there. All the things that I've already went over. So for our sheath, uh, it says we've got a lanyard hole here. We've got spots for Molly, like I said, uh, folded steel pocket clip, integrated locking mechanism, which is here. Um, and you can take this pocket clip off here and instead of having the knife vertical, you can turn the pocket clip sideways and attach it to your belt and have it uh, horizontal. So this is a really nice knife. It is, you know, doesn't take up much room if you want to throw it in your pack. Um, you know, put it on your belt. Um, you could attach it actually to your backpack, either using your clip here or, you know, your Molly webbing on your pack. Let's see what they say about it. Exclusive to Hunt Vault Elite members, the Tactica Fixed Blade Knife is designed to st stand the test of time with its solid D2 blade and durable G10 scales. It will be by your side for years to come. Features an integrated lanyard hole for extra security, allowing you to add your own paracord wrist strap. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, I'm always, you know, down for a new knife and, you know, it's never a bad idea to have, you know, a couple of knives on you in the field. Uh, you know, they could get you out of a real sticky situation or, you know, you can um, field dress your harvest or, you know, you could use it at camp. Um, but a knife is always a good thing to have in the field. So they've got our knife listed for $120, and that's going to put us at $262 this month. So that's all we got this month. We had a really good spread. Can't wait for next month. I know we've got some Badlands stuff coming up. If you guys aren't already subscribed, head on over to HuntVault.com and check them out. Subscriptions start at $150 a month for an annual subscription or $160 a month for a month to month subscription. Be sure to check out their Facebook page and their Instagram pages as they're always running promotions for new subscribers. They also do a giveaway for subscribers each month. So go check them out. I don't think you guys will be disappointed. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time in Rob's Man Cave.